All right, guys, we got to talk about Lil Nas X. So if you've never heard of Lil Nas X, I don't know where you've been because it is viral. He is viral right now everywhere over this Satan shoe and over this music video. I don't even have to show you anything about the music video. It is satanic. Clearly, obviously, stay away from it. Stay away from this cat. But I want you to know that where he came from was a little song called Old Town Road. You might have heard your kids singing this song because Lil Nas X says children are his core audience right now. And that's okay. He says that's okay that children are his core audience, even though he just dropped a video that's just blatant, occult, and satanic in every single way. An article on Vulture says how Old Town Road put kids in control. Now that Little Nas X's Old Town Road has broken the record for most consecutive weeks at the top of the Billboard's Hot 100 chart, Old Town Road is beyond the socio-political implications we've spoken about here before a movement running on kid power. Lil Nas X's Can't Nobody Tell Me Nothing is an alluring line when your life is regimented to the socks, but all you wanna do is watch cartoons and play with toys. What is the message of this song? The repetitive hook says, can't nobody tell me nothing. This is what we talk about over and over and over again. This is that message, follow your heart, break the rules and follow your heart, Disney's famous line. Court said one secret to Old Town Road's record-breaking success, kids are obsessed with it. Kids, these are the children. They're obsessed with this song, Old Town Road, that came out in 2019. So much so that Lil Nas X decided to put out a children's book. That's right, a children's book. Lil Nas X, C is for country. You can buy this online and it's specifically for kids. This isn't like, oh, you can buy this for your children. No, this is targeting children. In the details, it says, parents who play Grammy winner Lil Nas X's 12 time platinum single, Old Town Road on repeat, will wanna take their kids on a ride on over to the New York best time selling ABC picture book from the music mega star. You're gonna want to get this book for your children. If they listen to Lil Nas X on repeat, then you're gonna to wanna to get this book for them, this article says. Join superstar Lil Nas X who boasts the longest running number one song in history, guys. This is history making music, Lil Nas X. His target audience is children. His core audience is children. He was on Sesame Street singing around with Elmo. This is the song, la 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 la, Elmo song. He's been invited to different places where the children was the only audience and they asked him questions. He was invited to an elementary school where the entire crowd just blew up. All elementary kids singing his song louder than he can even sing it on stage. Also, for people who say that music is not influential, that there's no power in music, check this clip out. Story about the power of music. Did I smoke crack earlier today? Or is this boy humming the tune to Old Town Road? Old Town Road. She was shocked because Daniel has autism and is mostly nonverbal. I mean, it took us six months to teach him the letter A. And without being taught, are you telling me he's humming this song? And it was just like he'd been singing him all his life. And I thought, oh my God, it's music. That's how we reach him. That's how we teach him. That's how he understands. This is how we reach him. This is how we teach him the power of music, she says. It took them six months to teach him the letter A, but music helped this nonverbal child to open up. Music is powerful, a powerful weapon that can be used for good or it can be used for evil. And what decision is Lil Nas X using his music for? Right here, ETV took a quote from Lil Nas X where he said, you see, this is very scary for me. People will be angry. They will say I'm pushing an agenda, but the truth is I am. He's saying he is pushing an agenda. He's admitting it. This is not something that we are saying he's doing. He's telling us. So we fast forward a year later, he drops this song Montero and it's just as evil and occult as you can get. He slides down a stripper pole to hell and gives Satan a lap dance. 
and there's nothing about it you even need to see. That's all you need to know about it. Stay away from this. Then to accompany this music video, he drops the Satan shoe, a Nike shoe that he has designed to have a pentagram on the front, to have an inverted cross, to have the number 666 on the side of it, and a Bible verse that talks about Satan coming down like lightning from heaven. The advertisement says, better to reign in hell than to serve in heaven. This brother is lost, this brother is confused, but 666 of these shoes were released, and guess what, people? Every single shoe sold out. Newsweek said Lil Nas X's controversial Satan shoes sold out in under a minute. What does this tell you about the state of humanity right now? I'm not shocked that Lil Nas X put out a satanic music video. We see this everywhere. We see this all the time, and we point it out to you guys all the time. This is nothing new. We expect this from the world. The world is wandering after the beast. They are worshiping Satan. They are selling their souls to become rich and famous. Just like Satan offered Jesus all the kingdoms of the world. Just bow to me and I'll give you everything. There are people in this world who are taking that offer. The Bible says, what profits a man that he gains the whole world and loses very soul? This should not be shocking to us that the world is doing what the world is expected to do. What is shocking is that every single shoe sold out in under a minute. What does that say about the culture right now? I wanna take you to some of Lil Nas X's tweets right here. I literally sing about lean and adultery in Old Town Road. You decided to let your child listen, blame yourself. Parents, I have to give them this one. Why are we letting our children listen to a song that sings about lean and adultery? Here's the lyrics. Can't nobody tell me nothing. You can't tell me nothing. Can't nobody tell me nothing. You can't tell me nothing. That is the spirit of rebellion right there. Nobody can tell me nothing. And we wonder why children don't wanna to listen to what they're told to do. Riding on my tractor, lean all in my bladder. If you don't know what lean is, it's also known as scissorp. It's cough syrup. Cough syrup mixed in soda or alcohol and it makes you lean because you are just so intoxicated. Cheated on my baby. You can go and ask her. My life is a movie, bull riding and boobies. Is this what we're letting our children listen to? Is this a children's song? This is not a children's song. Another tweet here is a response to Nick Young, which says, my kids will never play Old Town Road again. I'm still debating about wearing Nike after this. And he responds, they shouldn't be playing Old Town Road anyway. We stream in Call Me By Your Name now. So Call Me By Your Name is actually this new song. And he's saying, y'all need to get move up with the times and listen to this satanic track instead. And then here's another response to Mint Chip who says, the system is targeting kids. Lil Nas X's fan base is mostly children. They did the same thing with Miley Cyrus and Hannah Montana. I agree, that's how the system works. They wanna put out these little pop icons that children love and the parents let their guard down and then a year or two or three years later, they're coming out looking like prostitutes on stage and that's what your children are gonna follow. His response is, there was no system involved. I made the decision to create the music video. I am an adult. I'm not gonna spend my entire career trying to cater to your children. That is your job. Again, I agree with this brother. We should be protecting our children from this stuff. And this is exactly why we tell you all the time, we cannot make a list of Little Light approved videos or movies or music because you never know what's gonna happen next year. We need to guard ourselves, protect ourselves from the world. The world is not giving us anything good. When people try to come against the stuff we say, it's like, look at Hollywood. Why are you defending Hollywood? There's nothing good coming out of this place. What I did find interesting about his statement though, is he said, I'm not trying to cater to your children. That's your job. Wait a minute, you're not trying to cater to our children. What about the children's book you put out? Let's see, so he put out a children's book called C is for Country, and then a year later, he is giving a lap dance to the devil. It's kind of like Mr. Rogers putting out a book that's called Satan is Our Lord. Lil Nas, you told us that you have an agenda. They will say I'm pushing an agenda, but the truth is I am. You told us this, Lil Nas. You put out a children's book. Even though you say the song isn't for children, you go to elementary schools and you're telling us that you have an agenda to push. So I'm seeing a contradiction in your logic here, Lil Nas. All I can say is 
brother, you're lost. You're deceived. Brothers and sisters, we should not be surprised by Lil Nas X's actions. He's doing exactly what the world does. He's living in rebellion. He's living for the lust of the flesh. And he wants to push that out to everybody who will buy his things because it's a business. But we know, according to Revelation 13, 3 and 4, it says, And all the world wandered after the beast, and they worshipped the dragon which gave power unto the beast. The Bible tells us in the last days, the entire world is going to worship the dragon, which is Satan, that old serpent. The entire world is going to worship the dragon. We are seeing this come right now. We need to get ready. We need to prepare. We need to get in God's word. We need to shield ourselves. We need to come out and be separate from this world, be in the world, but not of the world. And we need to spread the love of Christ and share the message of this prophecy that Jesus is coming back soon and we need to be ready, be ready. So brothers and sisters, we need to pray for this brother. We need to pray for his salvation, that his eyes will be open to the spiritual warfare that's going on all around him, that he will choose the side, the winning side, Jesus team, and that he can share the message of love, that he can use this power of music that this lady was talking about, the power to help a child speak and use it to glorify God and to expand his kingdom so that we can be forever in heaven and in the new earth with Lil Nas X. Please like and share this video so that everyone can see the spiritual warfare that we are facing right now and the signs of the times that are all around us. God bless.